Okay, I just want to do a short video here on a replacement Denon turntable that I received today. It's a Denon DJ VL12 Prime turntable. Bought this from a gentleman on eBay, and my first one was really bad. It was really defective. The strobe on the side of the platter over here would, you know, go clockwise, clockwise, counterclockwise, clockwise, and it keep wavering back and forth. Just horrible speed stability. This is the replacement unit. Um, he had me ship my, that one back, and he uh, shipped me this one from the distributor. Well, this one's a little better, but still, you know, it, it's just not going to cut it. I am not a DJ. I'm not going to use this to scratch with. So this thing has a very high wow reading. This one's getting about 0.19% wow. The uh, previous one was getting about 0.23, 0.24. And the speed stability on these things is just awful. I'm going to try to demonstrate that in the video and then compare it to an older turntable I have over here. This is a Techniques SL1300 Mark II from the late 70s. Um, and you can see how much better this turntable actually is than the current day Denon. I don't know if these units, these Denons are just all defective and I'm getting bad luck and I'm receiving them all. You know, I had two in a row now. But the owner's manual states the wow and flutter on this unit should be less than 0.05%. I'm getting 0.19% with this Android phone app that I use called RPM. And the reason I'm going to demonstrate it on this older Techniques turntable is just so that you can see the app really is very accurate. This older Techniques is rated to get less than 0.025%, and I'm getting 0.02% on it. So, you know, no problem there. I've tested some of my older turntables from the 70s, such as the Pioneer PL570 and so forth. And, uh, you know, they get what they're rated as well. I'm getting 0.03% wow. But this Denon just, it doesn't cut it. You know, I'm going to use it for audiophile use. And once you get up around 0.2% wow, the human ear can differentiate variances in a sustained tone, like a, a piano note or something. And I'm going to use it for audiophile music. So, you know, that would not be acceptable to me. And now my dog is going to bark in the background here, of course, when I'm trying to do a video, but... In order to do this, I'm going to use an old roll of tape here, empty roll. I'm going to try to center it on the platter as best as I can. And I'm going to put the Android phone up on top. Just so, you know, it's not laying directly on the platter. And I'm going to hit start here. And then hit start on the turntable. And we'll watch it. Now, if you look at the speed variance there just by itself, without even looking at Wow and Flutter, we're going from 33.2 to 33.4. Now, we can't see the second digit out, but still, you know, that's terrible. Just look at it vary as the platter turns. And there it's finished. Let me stop the platter here. And we'll look and see what we get. Okay, so we got 0.19% wow. And the speed is from 33.23 to 33.36. So, you know, right there, we're getting 0.13 speed variance on this particular test run that I did, normally it comes out to about 0.14. You know, still not accepted, not acceptable at all for audiophile use. You know, if you want to listen to some good music on this, you're going to hear that. Now, it may be better for a DJ, of course, if you're going to scratch and do this kind of stuff back and forth, which I would never intend to do, you're not going to hear things like that because you're not actually playing, you know, sustained music or sustained tones or anything like that. So, you know, not going to work for me. It's defective. It doesn't meet its specifications. So once again, this one's going to have to go back. I have to go through all the trouble to pack it up and contact the seller on eBay. Um, yeah, not happy. But uh, just to show you here, I'm going to set up this Techniques one as well. Now this doesn't necessarily have a start-stop switch. When you move the arm off the rest post, the turntable platter will start moving. So that's what I'm going to do, and I'll reset the app here. Well, I just reset it and hit start. And let's see what we get over here. It should be fairly low numbers. Um, you know, this is an older turntable from the 70s, late 70s. I think these were out about 77, 78, but don't quote me on that. I'm not really certain. You know, nice digital display in front, nice strobe. 
Um, you know, and then again, this is very old. It's from the late 70s. So I'm going to stop it now. The app finished. This is kind of difficult working with one hand here, but there you go. We got 0.03% on it. It's rated at 0.025, less than 0.025. Um, look at the speed there. 0.29 to 0.32, 33.29 to 33.32. So, you know, you couldn't ask for much better than that. That's very stable rotation. And over here on the Denon, you know, you saw the uh, the difference in the speed numbers. I'm going to try to get a shot of this strobe too, because you can see this one kind of dance back and forth. It's not like the first one I had. The first one was really, really wild. I'll try to put the phone horizontally here so I can actually capture it in frame and you have some kind of reference point to go by. And there we go. See, if you look, you can see a slight variance there. I'm not sure if that's just, you know, some warpage in the platter. But it's it's nothing like the first unit was. That one kind of wildly danced back and forth counterclockwise and clockwise. This one's not that bad, but still, the numbers, they just they don't meet the specs. And in addition, you know, this light ring here, when it's on, you can hear it make noise. I doubt if my phone microphone will pick that up. I don't have a real camera. All I have is a cell phone that I'm doing the video with. And, you know, it, it does make noise when it's off or when it's on. So, you know, these Denons seem like they have fairly decent build quality, but the electronic specs of them is just, you know, they're abysmal. Um, so that's the video. You know, there's the Denon compared to this older Techniques from the 70s. And, uh, well, the Techniques beats it hands down. I would at least think the Denon should meet its published spec. I mean, in the manual, they say less than 0.05% while in flutter. And, you know, we're getting 0 0.18, 0 0.19 on this thing. So th there's obviously something not right with the motor control system. And that's two in a row that I've had. Not as bad as the first unit, but still, you know, not th something that I would accept to listen to good music on. So that's my video. Um, I hope this helped a lot of you that are curious about the Denon turntable. It's a Denon DJ VL12 Prime. Uh, like I said, they're fairly nice looking units, but um, electronically they don't measure up to their, their rated specs and not something that I would want to listen to music on. So that's the video.